Hi, it's Vicky from Free Farm Limits again with my question for you to ponder over today. And the question is, what do you think you can't do? So that could be um, drive or um, speak publicly or run your own business or swim in the sea in the winter. Now I bring that one up because the reason I wanted to pose the question was because I had an experience um, yesterday um, and in fact it's one that's been evolving over the last year or so and I kind of wanted to share it with you as an example of some of the things that we believe about ourselves um, can be proven not to be true. So I mean we're talking kind of things like, like I've just talked about, I'm not talking about things that require huge amounts of skill or dedication, although I guess that would apply to, I'm thinking of climbing Mount Everest or something like that, but perhaps it does apply there if you have an I can't climb Mount Everest. Anyway, so for me, I'll give you my story um, just to kind of give you some context. So for a very, very long time, I have had really bad circulation and um, effectively I have Raynaud's disease, which is um, a circulatory issue. So when I get cold, my hands, the extremities of um, my fingers and my toes basically go numb. And it takes a long time for them to warm up and it's really uncomfortable. So I have over time created, and when I say created, I mean innocently, unknowingly created lots of stories about being cold. So I had it set as the truth that um, I didn't want to ever get cold. So I would, you know, wrap up really warm. Um, I would, um, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go in cold water, like that would be daft. So when I was training um, to become a practitioner to, to coach people, um, I had an experience where I had it very set that I wouldn't go in a cold swimming pool. Um, but there were other ladies who I trained with who were going in and they were really enjoying it. And it opened up a little window into the possibility that um, perhaps going swimming in cold water could be enjoyable. Like it wasn't, I didn't think it was, but there were people that were doing it and they were loving it. And so it opened up this little door to suggest that perhaps it was just my thinking that stopped me from doing it. Like I had it set up in my mind that that was something I couldn't do. But I got curious and wondered whether that was true or not. And so I got curious enough to get in the cold swimming pool. And this was in um, September, I think. And the experience was amazing. I loved it. It was just nothing like I imagined absolutely nothing like I imagined. I didn't go numb, I wasn't shivering when I got out, I wasn't cold for a long time afterwards. All the things that I thought would happen, that I'd created in my head, that this story that I had created, I proved were not true. And so fast forward a year and over the last couple of weeks I've been getting this really strong pull to go swimming in the sea. Now it's November in the UK, it's winter. Um, and my head was going crazy about it. No, why would you do that? You'll get really cold, blah, 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 blah. Same old story. But because I'd experienced the truth of it, that, that actually, that it was just a story that my mind had created from beliefs and conditioning and the way I'd been brought up. But it wasn't true the last time I went in cold water. I had actually good, had a good experience. So although I had tons and tons and tons of thinking about it yesterday, and my mind was going absolutely crazy about it. And I was feeling all of that crazy thinking and feeling quite sick and nervous and really didn't want to do it. But I found myself driving to the beach, meeting a friend and getting in the sea with just a swimming costume and having an amazing time. So I just kind of want you today to get curious about the the stories, I like, I call them stories. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about those things that 
seem to be absolutely 100% true to you. But when you look, you notice that other people can do those things. So whatever your, whatever your thing is that you can't do, is it objectively true that it can't be done or are there people that do it? And if there's people that do it, then get curious about whether it's possible that you could do it too if you were to not listen to the thinking that you have about it. So that's my invitation for you today. It's just to notice the things that you tell yourself you can't do and to question whether that's really true. Um, because when we question these very fixed beliefs, we there's a freedom. So for me now, I feel so much freer. It's like I had this tight constriction around the idea of getting cold or of swimming in cold water, which many people would have. But when I really looked at it, I realised that that it was all made up. Like it was just a story that I'd made up. I didn't actually know because I'd never done it. I didn't know because I'd never tried it. It's a bit like when we tell children to try different foods. Um, it's the same kind of thing. How do you know if you don't like something unless you've tried it? Your mind can tell you that it's going to be dreadful. It can make up all kinds of stories about what might happen if you do it. But, but step outside of that and see what happens. And I would love to hear from you if, um, if you manage to look at a story that you have and challenge it and see whether it's true or not. So let me know in the comments or send me an email and um, I will be back here tomorrow for another question for you to ponder on. Bye.